PLA militants give up arms at Bokajan on 17th of November. JCB mishaps took one life and made one employee critically injured at Stone Crossing site at Jilangso, Silonijan. APDC are likely to provide 2,000 jobs to the youth. Good morning, viewers. You are watching Karbinglong Live English Prime Time. On 17th of November, nine militants of newly floated militants' outfit, Adivasi People Liberation Army (APLA), give up arms at Bokajan Police Station in presence of SDPO Jondas APS, Moblik Brahma OC Bokajan, Roman Bordoloi OC Khakhati, and Intelligence Team. The militants were identified as Jayanta Hau, Dimesh Urang, Sahato Imchungar, Bimal Topno. Sotu Karmakar, Gopal Bariek, Chauja Shyam, Joseph Barla, Paul Karya. The weapon surrendered includes 122 semi-auto rifles, one SBBL rifle, one indigenously built rifle, 132 pistol, two grenades and live ammunition. Panantirang's report from Bokajan for Carbian Long Live. On 16th of November, around 9 a.m. late morning, it was reported that one person died while one sustained critical injuries after they had encountered with a JCB mishap at Stone Crossing site at Jilangso, Salonijan under Borpotar Police Station. According to reports, Rup Singh Killing, 21 years old son of Longkiram Killing, residents of Riso Tiso village, Jilangso, Selonijan, and Sarlongki Killing, 22 years old son of Bronson Killing, residents of Jilangso, Selonijan, both of them went for works on 16th of November at Rajesh Bhatti and Amit Malpani, Binayak Shyam Balaji Industry Stone Crosser site. It was then when an unfortunate mishap of JCB was encountered. The hands of JCB accidentally detached from the main body while consequently fell upon them, killing one person and made one person critically injured. Both the victims of the accidents were rushed to the nearest hospital, Bokajan CHC. Rup Singh Killing was declared dead as his body was sent to Dibu Medical College and Hospital for post-mortem report. Salongki Killing was referred to Zion Hospital, Demapur, for his further treatment. Adding a note to that, it was very surprising as no any compensations and condolences were offered to their bereaved family from their employers even after an unfortunate accident had taken place at the Stone Crusher site. And not even a single penny was given as an aid to the victim. Moreover, Borbotar police seems to neglect the case from their possession. Therefore, families of the victims appeal Dr. Tuliram Ronghang, CEM Carbian Autonomous Council to intervene into this matter and set up an investigation to this case and find out the actual facts of the incidents. And also to relocate the stone cross sites away from Jilangso, Silonijan, if possible. <laughs> Nelly so report from Bokajan for Carbing Long Life. Assam Power Distribution Company Limited would soon provide nearly 2,000 jobs to the youth of Assam to fulfill their vacancies. Good news to all the job aspirants as APDCL is soon going to recruit as many as 2,000 dynamic youth to fill up grade 3 and grade 4 job vacancies shortly. Report says Assam Power Distributions Company Limited APDCL would soon advertise grade 3 and grade 4 job vacancies in the company. On the other hand, some sources are indicating that the recruitment process of APDCL for the year 2022 is likely to be completed by the Assam Public Service Commission APSC. 
The company is likely to recruit as many as 2,000 vacancies. To support this report, Chief General Manager APDCL confirmed the advertisement of the official recruitment for the engineer post at the company. Newsdex report, Carbine Longline. Recently, many youths of the state had qualified for the Assam Commando Battalions. Their dreams to serve their motherland had indeed turned into reality. Likewise, as many as 62 youths from East Karbianglong District were qualified and among 62 youths, 30 youths belong to Karbi community. It was informed that all the youths qualified from East Karbianglong are stationed at Dipu Police Reserve for training purposes. They would be inducted into different batches from 20th November onwards. Young recruits of Assam Commando Battalions right ahead of their practice sessions expressed their happiness by greeting the citizens of Karbianglong and appealed the rising youth of the district to work harder in achieving their goals. They also expect more numbers of representation from Karbi youths to the armed forces in the coming days. Non -elitum. Penang and Nikan, Assam Kamandu Betelen Long, Kelongdun Abangfu Bang Pituman Law, Niritum Isahina Pen, Kelongdun Lake Sorlo Bangpo, La Pen Lange Supin Song Selo, La Pen S. Ita, Dujon, Bahin Gilong Nundu, Lassi Penenge, Penani Kamange, Kadoko Epen, Bang Tong Keblo Longdun, Lassi Non Kibang Tuilang, and Nikan, La Pena Recruitment Stame, Ansose Carbidunta. Anantirang's report from Bokajan for Carbing Long Life. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.